Hi guys, you're welcome to another edition of Sport Update here on Remo TV. I am Oluwa Kwelumi Peter, the number one jiggy of Sport. Before anything on this show, because I would not be taking much of your time, the first thing I want to do is uh, uh, congratulate uh, the keeper of uh, Remo Stars Football Club, talking about uh, Kayo De Bankole as a celebrator, his birthday today. Congratulations to you and happy birthday from myself and everyone here at uh, Remo TV. Uh, if you really want me to go down the memory lane last season, talking about the 2020 to 2020 season of uh, the Nigerian Premier Football League. Bankole was one of uh, the best goalkeepers last season and this season also he has started again well maybe with a bit of criticism but one thing we cannot take away from this guy is that Bankole is one of the best we have in the MPFL presently. So uh, we, we really want to see more of him and we hope as a celebrated birthday today this will uh, usher him into greater exploits in the Nigerian Premier Football League and we really want to see him perform more for Nigeria and also the Sky Blue Stars. Uh, quickly away from that, let me tell you that this past weekend uh, we saw the Nigerian Premier Football League match the three come up uh, in uh, the various states uh, of uh, the country and uh, one major game that caught my attention is the Bayelso United and Remo Stars game. Remo Stars got the first a win victory this season in the 2023-2024 MPL for by defeat Eating by Elsa United two goals to one. Yes, a very big one from them because you know since uh, the season started just about two matches ago, we've not seen any away victory. Remo Stars came and they broke the deadlock uh, with goals from Adams, Olamilekon, and Alimi. Alimi, Alimi scored uh, the second goal to give uh, Remo Stars uh, the victory. And you know this is just one thing I believe about Remo Stars. You cannot write them off. Their last match they lost, and a lot of people started saying quite a lot of things about them, but. One thing I believe is that uh, football is not a game of one day. It is a game over 38 or 37 matches. So you cannot just beat down expectations that come from these players and these teams are uh, game in, game out. And now they are preparing for their next uh, home match of the MPFL. I believe it's going to be a very good one for them. Also in the MPFL, we saw Sporting Lagos, Oster, Doma, United, there in Lagos. And the game ended 0-0 for Sporting Lagos. Well... This will be their third unbeaten run. Uh, their first game, I think they won. Then the subsequent matches they've played, uh, played two matches. It was uh, a draw. And now they've played three matches without any defeat. But yes, sir, we really did not see the satisfaction. They were really, really hungry that they could not uh, get uh, the victory from that match. And they saw a lot of chances. They saw a lot of opportunities uh, to just win that match. But you know, football is what it is. You just cannot predict the game. And uh, if you saw highlight from the game uh, the uh, chairman talking about uh, uh, Godwin and now he was really 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 not comfortable where was it because he really wanted uh, Sporting Lagos to get the win but it is what it is the spoils are uh, got shared between uh, Doma United and Sporting Lagos 1-1 one, one, and now they move uh, into their match they fall with expectations uh, for victory and we hope uh, if they do everything right in that game they are going to get the win from that match. Alright, quickly away from that, uh, in case you're beginning to lose interest, in case you're forgetting that Ogun State will be hosting the 2024 National Sport Festival here in Ogun State. Uh, well, I heard a lot of people saying that uh, they've not been hearing anything about it. What is it, What exactly is happening? Is it that uh, it will be changed? No, it is not going to be changed. Actions and preparations are in top gear to ensure that the 2024 National Sport Festival in Ogun State State is one not to be forgotten anytime soon. Uh, like we heard from the executive governor of Ogun State talking about Prince Dakwabiodun some months ago, that he and his committee will do everything to ensure that the 2024 National Sports Festival comes at a success. Now we've seen uh, the commissioning of a lot of uh, committees, uh, groups to ensure that the preparation is done. So don't forget the National Sports Festival is still coming on and preparation is in top. I just want to do me free to remind you in case you're forgetting. All right, finally, on this edition of Sports Update, uh, we still have the African Cup of Nations qualifier, the Euro qualifiers, and a lot of friendlies going on. And uh, this weekend, the league games will be back. Talking about uh, the English Premier League, the La Liga Setanda, the German Bundesliga, the Italian Serie 
Ha, and a lot of other league games are. And one of the biggest we would be having this weekend is the game between Asna and Chelsea. It is going to be a cracker. It's going to be the survival of the fittest. When two elephant fights, you remember how I say it. The grass there suffers for it. Well, I don't want to pick sides, but presently, I think I'm going to tip Arsenal to win that game. I think I am going to tip Arsenal to win that game. Not because of anything, but because of the present form. I think uh, Arsenal is more, uh, more consistent presently this season than Chelsea. And I want to tip them to win the game against Chelsea. You can drop your predictions in the comment box and uh, I would announce the winner in the next edition of Sport Update. This is how far we can go on this edition you can follow us on every of our social media platforms facebook youtube instagram and x formerly called twitter at official remo tv and you can check us out on our website at www.remotv.com.ng i still remain ogunleye oluwakpe lumipita the number one jiggy of sports stay sharp stay jiggy and enjoy the best of sports bye for now